Shout out to Serastro for all his awesome painting tutorials. He's the reason I was able to paint all these right here. All those. All those. Let this be a lesson in what not to do. I don't do the skin properly like Serastro does, and I don't even attempt eyes. I learned a, a while ago not to even try eyes, you know? I mean, look at this hand. Like, I can't. I'm trying to hold it still right now. Shaking. It's not easy to paint with shaky hands, I'll tell you that. All right, let's get to it. Painting Palpatine, here we go. I've already covered him with the black primer, so he's ready to be painted. I'm also gonna paint this Demolitions Wookiee hero that comes with one of the expansions, but I'll get to it. Two parts Bugman's Glow, one part Canicus Gray for the skin. So if you're gonna be using paint for a long paint session, People use the wet palette, but I haven't figured it out, so I take a dripper and I drop a little drip of water, and then I mix my paint into that and it stays uh, wet, so. One part Mechanicus Gray, two part Bugman's Glow. Mix it all in for the skin tone. Mix it in real good now. And yeah, because it's wet, gotta be careful. I know a lot of people won't agree. All right, and so you're not touching the figure while you're painting it. A little of this sticky, putty stuff that I got Gorilla Glue sticky putty just put it on like a bottle cap or something I think that's like a nail polish lid and you stick it on there and then you use that to paint pretty handy I went ahead and painted the skin as you can see I was a little sloppy and I got it on the inside of the hood so we'll touch that up when we paint the robes themselves got the underside of the skin try to be as thorough as you can be but some of those spots are harder to get to and you don't want to naked like I did the inside of the hood. All right, I've added the washes, the three washes, and you can see it just goes down in the cr in the cracks, the crevices, and it really flushes it out and gives it more depth, I feel like. I like how that turns out. I've always been pretty impressed with washes. They really add a lot of detail rather than just one flat layer of paint. All right, now for the robes. Uh, one part navy blue and i use this wolf gray from army painter here that i've used before it's very subtle so it's not a dark black paint all that over several layers and then i went ahead and i did his neck piece as you can see yeah i did the little clasp for the cloak and added the layer as you can see it brought it up it brought up the color for sure it's not so dark a little more gray i like how it turned out overall at this stage anyway and as you can see i also touched up the inside of the the hood it's not perfect but it's better than it was i'm gonna see if i can add some depth to the cloak or maybe tone the gray down added some dark wash but to not make it so dark i bounced it out with that lamia medium which i probably didn't even need i probably just needed to make it real dark i probably should just use straight nuln oil. I think my nuln oil got old or something, or, or something got inside of it because I think there's like this sparkly green glitter stuff. My base was really sloppy. When it's too wet, that's what happens. It all builds up, and that opening is gonna come back to haunt me there. That is the result of that mold line, I think, or whenever it was printed or whatever. I guess I should have taken an X-Acto knife to cut it down. All right, now I'm painting the red elite figure ring. I like to just spin it around. I just pull it straight out of the bottle, and I like to just spin the cap around and paint the ring like that. Very simple. And at the end, any touch-ups need to be done, just finish it off with the gray. Spin it around like so. And overall, I was pretty satisfied with it. You know, I'm no Serastro. I just try to get it good enough to go on the table for the most part. I've done a lot better job before. This is definitely not my best work. Yeah, and see that paint, that sloppy paint job on the initial gray on that ring came back to haunt me there. Now, this spray lacquer stuff, it just keeps the paint on there, and if you drop it, it, you know, helps with chipping. I do like to do one spray in the front, one spray in the back, and one spray on the top. And then make sure you're not breathing that stuff in. But this is him the next day, after everything's dried for, for good. And uh, you, you still see that real sloppy gray on the bottom. But overall, you know, for just throwing it on the table, it'll work. I really wish I could get his skin to be like that that gray that faded gray that Serastro's does but like I said I know Serastro and then I add him to the collection which is always a nice feeling <laughs> gods leave us I'm looking forward to completing your training but yeah I got all these painted I'm really proud of Han Solo and Chewbacca. Custom, those Wookiee Warriors back there. And these are the heroes from the current campaign I'm playing with my neighbors. Uh, Luke Skywalker, who they unlocked, a Rebel Trooper unit. And then I had Darth Maul and IG-88 they encountered in a mission. And I'm proud of that, those Nexus back there. I've done most of the figures I use in the campaign since I play the Empire, obviously. 
I painted those ATSTs. I need to paint the ATPT, and then I've got these snowtroopers primed with Kane Somos or whatever that guy's name is. Thanks for watching SJ76 Gaming. If you want to see more of this stuff, comment below. If you thought I did a horrible job, comment below. If you thought it was awesome, comment below. See you next time.